Hello YouTube, my name is Nero and today we have some more Simpsons Hit and Run. Welcome back to the playthrough, ladies and gentlemen, here for episode 4. And I have something very, very special to share with all of you. After years of playing this game, lots of trial and error, trials and tribulations to be perfectly honest, I figured out a very advanced mechanic that I want to share with all of you. It turns out, if you hold down the X button, no other button, just the X button, you can sprint in this game. <laughs> I had no idea. Thanks to your guy, you guys in the comments of my last episode. Uh, I now know that you can actually sprint. Uh, I was walking through the, the secret uh, backyard of Mr. Burns there that you access via the power plant. I was walking like this at normal speed the entire time. And uh, you guys were like, you know, you can sprint, right? And I'm like, wait, what? And yep, you can sprint. You can go faster. But welcome back to the playthrough, ladies and gentlemen. We are now on um, what I'm going to call chapter two of the game. Is that... Okay, I thought that was Snowball 2 seeing here inside of the catapult. I remember this episode. It was like uh, there's a penalty uh, for doing some crime in Springfield, which results in you being catapulted out of town. But uh, here we are back with uh, what I'm going to call Chapter 2. The first chapter was basically all the Homer missions. Now we are here at Level 2. I guess it's not a chapter, it's a level, where we're going to be doing things with Bart. We are in a completely different area of Springfield. Initially... We were in, let's say, Evergreen Terrace, uh, the nuclear plant, a little bit of rural Springfield, as well as like the upscale area of Springfield. With Bart here, we're more downtown than anything. There's a Springfield Park. There, of course, is going to be, um, I want to say that was City Hall, but it's actually the courthouse. City Hall is somewhere. Yeah, there's a town hall right across the way from here. Here, of course, is going to be the Jebediah Springfield statue, which does have a card on top of it. And our first objective is going to be talking to Millhouse. So let's go ahead and do that. I gotta get the new Bone Storm or I'll be as uncool as Millhouse. I'm standing right here, Bart. Hey, that's great. You better get out of here, Bart. Principal Skinner's looking for everyone that skipped school today. And when you're caught, it's expulsion, Bart. Expulsion! <laughs> Some of my favorite uh, episodes are the ones where... Because um, you, you guys know my, my favorite episode ever is, okay, so avoid Principal Skinner, drive to the try and save before time runs out. Um, my favorite episode is Bar of Darkness, and one of the reasons why that is is because um, it really it encompasses like what it's like to be a kid and reminds me of like growing up and you know, stuff like that. And oh, here's a really cool jump right here. And I really do enjoy the episodes... Oh, there's Skinner. Where they, um, they focus on Bart or the school in general. Oh, goodness. He's not playing around. So, who remembers the episode... So what am I supposed to do? Just avoid him, I guess. Um, who remembers the episode? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I better not get caught here. I guess this is a good way to actually teach me, like, this would take their area and stuff like that. But I'm a bit concerned because he's pretty fast. Hey, there's Moe's. No, he's going to catch me because I messed up that turn. Now he's catching up on me very quickly. Oh, there he goes. Let's go. Is it a dead end this way? It is. Crap. I was hoping to be able to turn to the right once I got up here. Hey, we can go this way towards the Springfield Downs. The tea factory is right there. Um, we're gonna turn into here. How are you catching me so fast, Skinner? I mean, we're getting a good idea of, like, what... Uh, here we go. Alright, drive to try and save. Wonderful. But, um, who remembers the episode where Bart was playing hooky, basically? Uh, Millhouse went to school, Bart did not. And Skinner's, like, going all over Springfield trying to find him. And he finds a piece of gum on the ground. He, he picks up the piece of gum, Skinner, that is. Put it, puts it in his mouth. He's like, hmm, double mint. Trying to double your fun, eh, Simpson? I'll double your detention. And I don't know. I remember, like, little things like that. And this car is actually pretty vehicle, or pretty vehicle, pretty awesome for a vehicle that uh, is, like, a go-kart, pretty much. It, uh, it seems to be destroying pretty quickly, but let's check out the try and save here. Ooh, let's go ahead and grab this, uh, the coins while we can. Because I believe there are going to be some cool-looking uh, Bart skins that we can play with. I just don't know where you get them. Um, you can go inside Moe's, so maybe Moe's would be a good place where they would put one of those. Let's talk to Jimbo here. Too late, losers. I got the last game. Four-finger discount. <laughs> Some crazy lady destroyed all the rest. When will they learn? Video games don't kill people. They just kill their minds. <laughs> Some crazy lady took the rest, and that, of course, was, uh, that of course was Marge in the previous missions. All right, now we're heading to Herman's Military Antiques. The fact that they took the time to make this a thing. <laughs> what is the point of that? I mean, I guess the, the point, what's the point of anything? I think it's just there to add a little bit of immersion to the game. There's a DMV right here, actually. Why is there a school bus smashed into the DMV? I assume that was in one of the episodes. I just don't remember it. Yeah, you can actually go inside the DMV, it would appear. 
Either way, let's, uh, let's head over to Herman's here. Matlock Expressway. I love it. I love it. This is all starting to come back to me. Like, when I listen to them talk, especially with, like, their dialogue and stuff, like, it takes me back. Like, I can... I forget, like, what all happens in this particular level, but as they start talking, it instantly comes back to me, and I can almost finish your sentences for them. It's kind of great. Let's talk to you. I think this is Curly, right? How am I gonna get that new game? Who cares? Video games are so late 90s. Illegal fireworks are all the rave now. Better make it snappy, though, if you want to be part of this trend. Collect fireworks from around Springfield before time runs out and avoid oh, Chief Wiggum. Yeah. Now, keep in mind, across the street here was Grandpa. Where'd he go? Okay, well, there was a side mission across the street that is no longer here, but it may that may be because... Right, there's Grandpa right there, so it may be because uh, we're, in, uh, we're doing a mission right now. All right, so now we need to head to Moe's, collect illegal fireworks, and... Knock. Hey, there's a card there on top of that train. So I never knew Moe's was down here in the uh, shipping area. Because it kind of is, I guess, in the grand scheme of things. Well, maybe, hey, there's another card there on top of that uh, place over there. Where the heck am I going? I'm not used to this area whatsoever. It's starting to come back to me a little bit, but, like, I just feel like I know the place, but I don't. There's King Toots. Here's going to be Moe's. Lots of potholes out front here. I need to talk to, um... Otto, that's his name. One box of your finest quality Chinese frog launchers, please. Here you go, two kilos of Chinese sky candy. They'll blow you away. They'll blow you away. All right, so there they are. Now, hey, they're actually taking us into Moe's. I like this. I love it when you can actually go inside places. Like, here we are inside Moe's. This would be a great place to put one of those um, outfit things, but it doesn't look like we have that. We can pull <laughs> the love tester. That was from uh, one of the Trios Horror episodes. You can't actually see it, though. Hey, there we go. Now we can actually see it when Grandpa got possessed by it. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and talk to Mo. Oh, nope, I'm actually talking to him. I'm playing with that thing. Ugh. I can't jump or anything, so I guess we'll have to go to this angle. Sorry, bot. I can't serve booze to a miner. It ain't right. I'm here to buy fireworks. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Collect the fireworks. Alright, so we're just grabbing all the fireworks. We need to avoid the cops, but, like, how are the cops even a thing? I assume they're gonna be a factor eventually. But right now, they just aren't really whatsoever. Wait, what did I see back there? Oh, it was a moving uh, portrait thing of the different duffs right there. I was like, something moved there in the background. All right, let's hop inside here. I should, when we get a moment, uh, go ahead and check out the, uh, the phone booth and see what cars are available in this particular uh, level. I wonder if you just... Why did you do that? I was... I was turning. Things were going to be fine. And then you just suicide yourself right into me. Actually, oh no, we, we're, we're good. I'm like, 20 seconds, are we even that close? Yeah, it's right here. I'm smashing into things repeatedly, but here we are. Talk to Snake. Okay, wait, uh, before I talk to Snake, since we're not like on a time limit right now, I'd like to destroy that, and then jump up and we'll kick this beat. No, eh, there we go. Grab all the coins, because I assume we're going to be able to buy some vehicles on this level. I just don't know for a fact. We need to go back, go ahead and talk to Grandpa, though, for sure. One dozen of your best Tijuana toilet crackers, my good man. Here you go, kid dude. Now don't blow your hand off. Or do. What do I care? Or do. What do I care? Snake's a... He's an alright side character. I never particularly liked him, but he, he's good to have in the show, I think. Something... I mean, anything that gets Chief Wiggum on screen more is a good thing. I love Chief Wiggum. He is hilarious to me. Definitely one of the better side characters. That's what's great about The Simpsons is that there are so many like great side characters that an episode could go on where you don't even see much of the actual Simpson crew. And why would you cut in front of me there? And that's okay. Why are you people cutting in front of me? You're trying to be dicks at this point. And by the way, if you guys didn't catch it back there on the van, it said Black Van Pizza Delivery, which is hilarious. All right, so here's like a whole other part of town that I did... Okay. So it turns out, town's a lot bigger. All right, so now we need to talk to Ralph. Outside the police station, though. Why would we... Are we trying to buy fireworks outside the police station? Wiggum's right there. Chief Wiggum is right there across the street. All right. Ralph, word in the hood is that you got access to your old man's fireworks stash. Fireworks make my ears yell. Here's some gumdrops. Now make with the works. My daddy's going to put you in jail. Bye. <laughs> All right, collect the fireworks, and now I think immediately we're going to be hit with a hit. Uh-oh. 
I'm looking at five. All right, so this, so the Bart ones so far are, aren't so much about. Here we go. They aren't so much about like collecting things. Oh, I guess I mean we are collecting some things. It's not so much about like I don't know races or anything like that. A lot of uh, getaway things, which is um or chase events rather. That's not something we really saw. Can I not go this way? It says we can't. But we're gonna find out. Smash! Oh, I was expecting to smash into that completely. If I remember correctly, this uh the Matlock Expressway here just randomly ends at one point. So. All right, so there we go over it. Oh, yeah, we're going to lose him immediately now. I Perfect. Fought the law and I, won. <laughs> I fought the law and I won. This building right here next to it looks like, um, remember that episode where Bart, um, he bought a vacant property and had his own factory for a while? Oh, well, check out the vehicles we can get. Honor roller. We already have pickup truck. Plow King's balance van. Where did this sedan come from? Stat wise, it looks like it's slightly worse than the family sedan. Like, what I don't remember what episode that's from. World War II vehicle with grandpa. I wonder what the grandpa mission is going to be. That's cool. He's got the fighting hellfish on the front. Mr. Plow, there we go. That is, I think mo a lot of people consider Mr. Plow to be one of the best episodes of all time. For some reason, it's one of the most recognizable. Limo, I remember that faintly. Um, fire truck, I don't remember as much. Either way, pretty freaking cool. I kind of want to go find grandpa now. Uh, what's my mission? I think they, I'll drive to the Googleplex. Okay. I mean, we're all, I mean, if you really like try to blitz through missions and don't see any of the side content, I think the hit, uh, Simpsons hit and runs a game where you can, you can probably speed run this game very quickly. It seems like some are, it seems like I'm already halfway through the Bart missions. If it's anything like Homer, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. If it's anything like Homer, there's seven total and I've already done two and I've been taking it relatively slow. Um, yeah, I think I, if I were to do a speed run of this game, I bet it could be done pretty quickly. Now, uh, there's, yeah, here's Grandpa. We're going to talk to Grandpa because I want that World War II vehicle. I wonder if Grandpa drives it. I think he does. I need your car from the war. The war? What, is the Kaiser at it again? I'll teach him. He stole my best girl and my best box of saltwater taffy. Grandpa, you're not making any sense. <laughs> I'm tired because I let Jasper borrow my blood. I didn't think I'd need it. No. <laughs> Dial B for blood. Why do I re randomly remember this being a difficult mission? And collect the blood for Grandpa. Okay. Simpson at your service. All right, here we go. Twenty seconds. All right. Okay, so it's gonna be like the uh, the Ralph or not the Ralph the Rod and Todd mission where you have to grab things and you need to not like run out of time. So this one's gonna be next to Moe's. I'm just gonna keep looking at the map because I am not familiar with this area nearly as much as I am like the opening Homer area. So we're going to take it relatively slow here. Uh, there we go. And further on down. No, see, I, I, for the reason I thought, like, no, I'm like, surely right there to the left is where Moe's is going to be. No, it's not. I'm, I'm just not used to this area. Enter Moe's. We have to go in Moe's to get the blood? This is going to be interesting. I'm sure there's a story for why Moe has blood. Mo, do you have any human blood? Nah. What about goat blood? Sure, why not? <laughs> oh my goodness. You can't just give Grandpa goat blood. That's not how that works. It's not how it works. I love how, like, on the wall, they have, like, the Springfield isotopes, um, pennants and stuff like that, and then the capital city ones as well. Drive to the Krusty Burger by the construction site. There's, so it looks like there's multiple Krusty Burgers in every level. And there's also a Lard Lad Donuts back there. There's a Lard Lad Donuts um, in the Homer mission. And now that I think about it, I guarantee that's where one of the um, uh, the collectible cards is actually at. Let's talk to Greasy Teenager Guy. I don't know his name if he has one. Did you have any blood? Would you like fries with that? <laughs> All right. Spam me the blood, I guess. Let's, let's uh, kick this down. Since we don't have a timer at this point, we're going to kick this down, grab a... Uh, I'm just going to call it gold. What gold we can get. I mean, it's basically gold, right? Now we need to take it back to Grandpa. Then we're going to have access. Can I go through here? For some reason, I thought, like, with the angle that was, maybe it was, like, a jump of sorts. No. No, it wasn't. <laughs> All right. Let's keep on going here. Lard Lad Donuts. Sounds delicious. I think there is a Universal Orlando or Universal somewhere. Um... They have like an entire like Springfield section. There's Lenny hanging out. Oops, apparently we need to turn around here. And they sell like Simpsons donuts and stuff like that. Um, back when the Simpsons movie came out, they sold, um, they changed a bunch of 7-Elevens to look like Quickie Marts and they sold like Krusty O's and 
Um, Duff Beer, although it wasn't beer, it was like Duff Energy Drinks. And Buzz Cola, I think, is a thing as well. So, did I already pass Grandpa? Am I going... The map is like resetting itself. I'm wondering if I'm messing it up. I got seven seconds here. Oh, we made it. Woo! No, I prefer not to have a hit and run right now. Thank you. Let's talk to Grandpa and get our car. Nice and warm. Just how I like it. Is that enough? I need another car. Take it. Oh, I'm going to pour this on my flapjacks. It's blood, Grandpa. Goat blood. Specifically, congratulations. You've unlocked Grandpa's World War II vehicle. Go to a phone booth to use it. All right. What do we have here? Uh, Grandpa's going to be driving. All right. So in terms of... Let's compare stat-wise here. So Family Sedan had one and a half speed, one and a half acceleration, I think. One speed, one and a half acceleration before handling. So this is faster and tougher. This is faster and tougher, but with slightly less handling. Okay. Hello, drivers. Got a little situation here. All right. Drive to the Googleplex. <laughs> and give you a such a look at the fighting hellfish uh, logo there in the front. That was a great episode where you learn about Grandpa in World War II with um, Mr. Burns as well. Lots of cool stuff. Should we head inside here? I don't know. Part of me wants to drive around in this vehicle, but we should also probably check out the DMV because I guarantee that's like a big side mission. It's the Department of Motor Vehicles. I bet that's where we can like buy vehicles, perhaps. Let's go, let's go in there. We're gonna see. I like this vehicle though. One, because I like the theme of it. Two, Grandpa's here. Three, it handles pretty freaking well. It's very fast. Let's go inside. I, maybe nothing happens in here. I, I don't remember. It's been so long. <laughs> you can see outside even. There's Patty and Selma. I saw something on the far right there, but I can't get my camera to turn. Word up, dude. Tough luck, folks. I don't feel like moving the line today. Ah. <laughs> uh. Which one's Patty? Which one? I think this one's Patty, right? And this one's Selma. I could have that backwards. Hey, there we go. This is what I was after. All right. So, Tall Bart. I faintly remember that episode. Wasn't he trying to impress a girl or something to become taller? Um, football Bart. I remember this one a lot. And then Bart Ninja. Okay. Let's buy him. Screw it. And now I'm Football Bart. That was a great episode because I love football. And so when The Simpsons did a football episode, I was obviously a big fan. Um, I'm just going to grab them all because I forgot to do it with the Homer stuff. So we're just going to grab them all here for Bart just to be, you know, just for completion's sake, I guess. Why not? And Bart Ninja. Now I'm basically broke. But if I really want gold, I'll drive around. We'll, we'll drive around as Bart Ninja, I think, for a little bit here. Although typically I kind of like it more to just be the default uh, skin. Let's go all the way. I'll... <laughs> Hans Wollman's hilarious. I love Hans Wollman. Well, apparently we can't buy any vehicles in there. That's a bit of a shame, but, you know, there are plenty of vehicles available in this uh, particular level, so I assume we are going to be finding more. Just a matter of time, ladies and gentlemen. I'll figure it out. Don't worry. We won't move on until we get them all. I think at least, I mean, if I don't get all the collector cards or all the uh, outfits and stuff like that, that's fine. Um, but every, t every time I do a level, I would mess up wow holy crap all right so apparently this thing is a uh, is two-wheel drive in the front <laughs> sitting here doing a front flip just by spinning out pretty much wow but yeah but no matter what guys we're gonna be getting all the vehicles don't worry about it um i like the sound of this vehicle even it's pretty good pretty freaking good so bart here is gonna be downtown homer was like i don't know more uh suburbs I think Lisa, I know for a fact, is like down by the docks with like the Mr. Burns Casino. Um, there are other ones as well, like other parts of Springfield. It's so cool that they can put them all together. I wonder if somebody ever like made a mod of sorts that would like... I know how they would do it. I doubt you could do it. Oh, here's the uh, monorail. Oh, we got to check out the monorail station. Um, I, I, it'd be cool if like there was like somehow a mod that connected every single one of these uh, areas together. Although I'm not sure how that would work, considering like some of them are set at different points in the day and stuff like that. But I mean, they really went all out in terms of recreating Springfield with this game. And for a game that came out in 2003, keep in mind this is a PlayStation 2 game. I think it's held up pretty well graphically and gameplay and everything else. It's pretty awesome. Here's the monorail, pretty popular uh, episode. Why can't I hit you? There we go. Look at that, getting all our gold right back after spending it. That's how we do that's how we do it around here, ladies and gentlemen. That's how we do things. Oh, uh, they're gonna make they're gonna make me do a little bit of parkour here. 
Although it's not hard at all. You just kind of run and jump. Can we get inside? Oh, wait a minute. It says press Y. Let's grab this gold piece. I think it might just blow up on me. I'm trying to make a prediction here. I think it's going to blow up and fall down. That's my prediction. Oh. Oh. Can I drive it like a car? <laughs> oh my god, the handling is terrible. They made the monorail a car. <laughs> this is incredible. So, does every level have like a secret vehicle? Because remember the first one, we had the rocket car from the crater of Itchy and Scratchy's house. And now we have this. <laughs> The handling is so terrible. It is very hard to describe just how terrible the handling is. Oh, wait a minute. Are we going to fall in? Oh. <laughs> Alright, so it threw us on the other end, I guess? I don't know. Okay, uh, I, oh, we can't look at the map because there is no map, basically. There's the mini-map. So let's get to the Springfield Googaplex. And then I think we're going we're gonna to end off the episode there. Oh my gosh! So I think the handling's terrible because it's a monorail, so therefore, like... Are there even wheels on the monorail? I pictured it more like um, a rail, and then you're attached to that rail, similar to, like, similar to what you see with a train. Wouldn't that be how it is? I'm going the wrong way completely here, though. I was wondering... I was hoping if I just kept driving in one direction, it would eventually, uh, like, redirect me. But now it's like, nah. Come on, man. You're going completely the wrong way. Get, get, get your head in the game. What are you doing? So I'm just going to follow the map. I'm not even going to try and take shortcuts. I can try and take detours. I don't know my way around. Excuse me. I can't turn real quick like in my wonderful vehicle, which is getting close to blowing up. If it does blow up, I think we're going to do our first hijacking, which isn't really hijacking. It's just like GTA. Um, you can you can commandeer any vehicle on the road here. Um, you get to control it and everything, but like your character won't be the one technically driving. Whoever owns the car is the one that's driving. Why does it say to stop back there? Can I fall off of the bridge, off of the road back that way? I'm not sure. I am not 110% sure. Excuse me. I'm trying my best not to run people off the road. I really am. But if you think, look at you! You ran into me that time, jerk. All right, so here we are at the end. Matlock Expressway, this way is to downtown. I thought we were already downtown. I can't stay straight here. <laughs> I'm just wondering how much, uh, how much juice this thing has left in it before it just dies on us. All right, so we're back to my, oh. So it turns out the entire time we were kind of, wait a minute. Wasn't I heading back this way? Wait a minute, Old Gil. Dun, dun, dun. Driving, Hello, sir. You just so from gotta help old Gil out. You just gotta help old Gil out. So from old Gil, we can buy the fire truck and the limo. I can't afford either of them, so we're gonna have to do that in other episodes once we get more gold. But now we know where to get those two, at least. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode of the Simpsons Hit and Run playthrough. If you did, please drop me a rating. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.